Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be talking about etiological factors of neoplasia. Etiological factors of neoplasia. Okay. So um, etiological factor means the positive agents. Causative agents of neoplasia ke bare mein baat karenge. So the cancer causing agents. Cancer causing agents are basically divided into three parts. Okay. So basically divided into three parts. Number one is chemical carcinogens. Carcinogens. Then we have cancer due to radiation exposure. And number three due to microbial agents. Okay. So what are the causes, uh, co cancer causing agents? Ek to aapko ho sakta hai, chemical carcinogens ke karan, due to some chemicals, we might have cancer. Then we can have due to radiation exposure and we can have due to microbial agents. So in this video, we will be talking about chemical carcinogens and radiation exposure. And in our next video, we will be talking about the microbial agents. Microbial agents mein aapka viruses aata hai. Then uh, your bacteria, then parasites also come. We will be talking about them in our next video. So let's start with chemical carcinogens. So we will talk about chemical carcinogens. Okay. So chemical carcinogens, mein aapko sabse pehla, we will have two types of chemical carcinogens. One are initiators and one are promoters okay so what does initiators do they convert normal cells normal cells into dna normal dna into mutated dna okay okay and promoters what they do they mutated dna ko kya karta hai Mutated DNA ko multiplication karne mein help karta hai. It helps in multiplication of mutated DNA. Multiplication of cell containing mutated DNA. So let's revise again here. So what are the initiator? Initiator kya karta hai? Aapka normal DNA ko mutated DNA banane mein. Uh, it, uh, it changes normal DNA into a mutated DNA. And what, what does the promoter do? Promoter starts from mutated DNA and it helps in the multiplication of cells containing mutated DNA. Now we will study about the different type of initiators. Initiators can be your directly acting, okay, directly acting and indirectly acting. Fine. So directly acting kya karta hai? It damage DNA, damage DNA without any alterations. Okay. So jo directly acting kya karta hai? It damages DNA without any alterations. This is the um, action of directing agent. They are mutagen. These are mutagens causing cancer by direct damage or modification of DNA. And what does indirect acting do? It indirectly acting kya karta hai? This require metabolic conversion. Aapko kya karta hai? Metabolic conversion is required to form metabolic conversion to form active carcinogen. To form active carcinogen. Okay, so it form intermediate, matlab metabolic conversion, matlab kya hota hai? there is some intermediates are formed, intermediates are formed before converting to active carcinogens, okay, so what are the examples of directly acting, example is alkylating, alkylating agents, okay, then indirectly acting mein aapka aata hai, benzo, Pyrin. Okay. Benzo. Pyrin. Fine. Now we will talk about promoters. Okay. We are done with initiators. Now we will talk about promoters. 
तो प्रोमोटर्स क्या करता है ये कन्वर्ट्स म्यूटेटेड डीएनए को मल्टीप्लिकेशन करता है ओके मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ सेल कंटेनिंग म्यूटेटेड डीएनए ओके दिस इज द एक्शन ऑफ प्रोमोटर सो एग्जांपल ऑफ प्रोमोटर्स आर एस्ट्रोजन एस्टर एंड एस्बेस्टोस ये एस्बेस्टोस ऑलरेडी हैज कम इन एग्जाम ओके सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस तो प्रोमोटर्स क्या करता है जो एक सेल का म्यूटेटेड डीएनए है उसका मल्टीप्लिकेशन करने में हेल्प करता है नॉट हेल्पिंग इट डज मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ सेल कंटेनिंग म्यूटेटेड डीएनए एंड हेल्प्स इन द मतलब कैंसर कॉज करने में कैंसर कॉज करता है एक्चुअली नॉट हेल्पिंग इट्स नॉट अ हेल्प टू हैव कैंसर ना नेक्स्ट सब टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल मेडिएटर्स वी विल टॉक अबाउट द सब टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल मेडिएटर्स व्हाट आर द सब टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल mediators now we can see in smoker first we will talk about smokers smokers kya hota hai they are exposed to something known as polyacrylic aromatic hydrocarbons polyacrylic aromatic hydrocarbons okay so these smokers are associated with increased risk of squamous cell carcinoma of lungs larynx and esophagus okay then these smokers are also associated with transitional cancer of the bladder okay and what is the causative agent this is beta naphthai lamin i will remember b for bladder b for beta naphthalenin okay and also the smokers are susceptible to adeno carcinoma of pancreas i mean this uh, poly uh, pancreas okay next now next we'll talk about nitrosamines 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 are associated with stomach cancer that is also intestinal type stomach cancer of intestinal type then esophageal cancer and this is more common in where in japan kyunki kya hota hai it it nitrosamines are mostly present in preservatives so if we eat preservative uh, food containing preservatives we are susceptible to this type of cancer okay next we will talk about vinyl chloride okay so these are all chemical carcinogen vinyl chloride okay to so vinyl chloride kya karta hai angio sarcoma of liver okay it is also seen seen in with exposure to arsenic arsenic kya cause karta hai skin cancer okay this is about vinyl chloride okay next aflatoxin aflatoxin kahan se aata hai we know from aspergillus aspergillus is a fungus and it causes hepatocellular carcinoma hepatocellular carcinoma now we will talk about little about asbestos okay asbestos is an unique carcinogen okay why it is unique carcinogen because it acts as both initiator as well as as well as promoter kya hota hai asbestos it acts as a initiator as well as promoter and it leads to two types of apka cancer one is mesothelioma okay and one is bronchogenic carcinoma bronchogenic carcinoma hota hai 15 to 20 years 
ऑफ एक्सपोजर टू एसबेस्टोस एंड मेसोथेलियमा होता है 25 टू 35 इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपोजर ओके तो दिस एसबेस्टो एसबेस्टोस इज आल्सो एसोसिएटेड आल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद लैरिंग्स लैरिंग्स ओवरी एंड किडनी कैंसर ओके नाउ देयर आर सम ड्रग्स आल्सो ओके देयर आर सम ड्रग्स आल्सो व्हिच कॉजेस आपका क्या करता है कैंसर कॉज करता है तो व्हिच आर दोस ड्रग्स नंबर 1 अल्कालाइटिंग एजेंट्स नंबर 2 टोपो आइसोमरेज इनहिबिटर्स इनका नाम याद रखो आप इट कॉजेस सेकेंडरी ल्यूकेमिया ठीक है ठीक है एंड देयर इज अनदर ड्रग बाय द नेम ऑफ साइक्लोफॉस्फामाइड which is also an alkylating agent it causes urinary bladder cancer okay fine so this was all about the chemical carcinogen in in your book uh, you can find a whole list of drugs and alkylating agents and uh, different chemicals which cause different cancer so you can read from the Uh, book uh, that is Pash Gupta. You can read for exam preparation, NEET, uh, NEET PG and NEET MDS preparation. The best book is to follow Pash Gupta. You can find a table there. You can find different alkylating agents and in the different alkylating agent defined chemicals which causes different types of cancer. So you can find the table there and can read from there. Okay, I have just given a brief summary of all those. Agent. Start preparing for the NEET MDS from your home. Dr. Pranab Academy of Dental Sciences. Online classes for all first, second, third, and final year students. NEET MDS online test series. Unlimited practice and highest quality teaching. Affordable pricing. Download the app now. Now we will talk about radiation. Okay. What we'll be talking about? We will be talking about radiation. So radiation, two types of it. Okay, non-ionizing and ionizing radiation. Two types: non-ionizing, ionizing, and ionizing radiation. So ionizing radiation, where is it? And what are the ionizing radiation and what are the non-ionizing radiation? So non-ionizing means that it's ultraviolet, A. B N C ठीक है एंड आयनाइजिंग में आता है एक्स रेस गामा रेस अल्फा एंड बीटा पार्टिकल्स ओके तो नॉन आयनाइजिंग नॉन आयनाइजिंग रेडिएशन में ए बी एन सी तो बी इज मोर पावरफुल देन ए एंड but c has maximum chances of causing cancer but what happens we do not get cancer from c because ozone layer ozone layer is there and it filters the ultraviolet ray c filtered by ozone layer so maximum of the cancer uh, ozone layer okay filtered by ozone layer so maximum of the cancer we get are due to ultraviolet b okay uvc get filtered by ozone layer whereas ultraviolet b is the most common carcinogenic ultraviolet ray to reach the earth okay so sabse common kaun sa hai ultraviolet b fine theek okay. hai now how does this exposure to ultraviolet rays causes con- cancer तो एक्सपोजर टू अल्ट्रावायलेट रेस ओके आपको एक्सपोजर हुआ अल्ट्रावायलेट रेस से देन देयर इज म्यूटेशन इन द पायरिमिडिन डाइमर्स पायरिमिडिन डाइमर्स इन डीएनए व्हिच लीड टू म्यूटेशन इन ओंकोजिन्स एंड ट्यूमर सप्रेसर जीन व्हिच लीड टू म्यूटेशन इन ओंकोजिन्स एंड ट्यूमर suppressor genes and which again leads to incidence of cancer okay okay so this is the way how uh, ultraviolet rays causes cancer 
uh, it alters the pyrimidine dimers in DNA, then which leads to mutation mutation in oncogenes and tumor suppressor, suppressor gene, and which leads to incidence of apka cancer cause karta hai. Okay, fine. Now, next, apka the dimers, uh, there is something called as NER gene. So, this uh, ultraviolet radiation also causes defect in NER gene, defect in NER gene, and which leads to xeroderma, xeroderma pigmentosa. So, you have to remember NER gene, which leads to defect in that leads to xeroderma pigmentosa. Okay, fine. Now we will be talking about the ionizing ionizing radiation. Okay. So ionizing radiation kya karta hai? We will talk about that. So ionizing radiation. The people working in the radiation industry. Okay. Radiation industry. They are more susceptible to this type of uh, ionizing radiation. Okay. So more powerful and causes. It is more powerful and causes dna damage okay it includes x-rays gamma rays alpha and beta rays it causes dna damage okay and this maximum sensitivity is at g2 phase maximum sensitivity is at G2 phase. Yeah, yeah, maximum sensitivity is at G2 phase. Okay. So, jo people radiology department may have, then who are uh, like uh, dealing with atomic bombs, then the miners, they are more susceptible. But there is some protection also, lead aprons they wear. But I don't see uh, in our college. Uh, we in our radiology department we don't see them wearing any lead aprons in not only our college in most of the colleges they don't wear lead aprons so they are very much susceptible to this type of um, this uh, cancers okay so which is the most radio sensitive radio sensitive cell okay the most radio sensitive cell is lymphocyte okay okay and platelets are the platelets are the most radio resistant okay because as nucleus is absent in platelets okay so platelets are the most radio resistant now there is increased chances of leukemias with ionizing radiation aml cml ALL, but except CLL, ठीक है? आपका chronic lymphoid leukemia नहीं होता है. ML होता है, CML होता है, ALL होता है, पर CLL नहीं होता है. Then also these people are susceptible to increase papillary thyroid cancer. Okay? Then this radio radio क्या था? Radio Radio contrast material, uh, radio thoros, thoro trust, thoro trust. This radio contrasting material, radio contrast material actually. So it is associated with angiosarcoma of liver. Okay, angiosarcoma of liver. Okay, then which are the organs which are least affected by uh, ionizing radiation organs least affected by ionizing radiation okay which are those organs number one is skin git and bones these are radio resistant tissues okay so there is a some radium paint okay in watches radium paint in watches which increases the risk of osteo 
sarcoma. So this was all about chemical carcinogen and radiation exposure. In our next video, we will be talking about the different infectious organisms which cause uh, cancer, the different etiological uh, factors of cancer in the form of infectious organism. We will be talking about heli helicobacter pylori, then we will be talking about fungi, then we will be talking about some viruses, and we will be talking about some bacteria. Okay, so this much for this class. Uh, thank you very much for patiently listening to the class. I hope you understood all the points I have described here and um, see you in the next class. Thank you very much.